So ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the second set of the Crusade CPU level 9, well level 10 currently. And this match we have Duck Hunt Dog versus Ouija. And both of these both of these game are fun to my people. Simple as that. So as you can see we got Luigi doing an F smash well Ouija, sorry, sorry. Ouija doing an F smash. I don't like either of these characters at all. But they've chosen to go to Final Destination. Uh, Final Destination is Possibly one of the least picked stages in the vast majority of, well, in all of Smash games. Uh, mostly because, well, really not, no platforms, no fun movement options. Uh, in Melee, it's a bunch of chain grabs that happen. Uh, Brawl, more <laughs> chain grabs. Or, what's the point of going on FD when you can just go on any Omega stage? Uh, 64. I mean, it was decently picked in 64. Okay, but back to the match at hand. Duck Hunt Dog has a really interesting up or F smash. See, he throws his bird out, okay, and then it goes up. Does it hit people as it goes up, or is it only a specific amount of frames when the bird's in his hand? We're just going for the. I think that's an either. I think that's an F tilt. Going for the F tilt edge guard. Uh, I can never tell what's going on with Ouija. I really can't. I have no idea half the stuff he's doing. But yeah, there's. I don't. Uh, I don't like Ouija in this game. But yeah, multiple F tilts. Uh, the AI seems to really enjoy F tilting. I think that's a side special, but I'm not too sure. I also don't care. So duck hunt. Dog, uh, almost getting the kill, but thanks, to, but that was only because of Crusades Smash 5's like knockback. Uh, also, Ouija has one of the best recoveries, because that goes so high up. It's just a shame that he didn't recover from that, even though he probably could have. So, sitting at three stocks to two, but not that much of an advantage because Duck and Dog's almost dead. But if Duck and Dog and no, he got some percentage. But if he can get just a decent amount of percentage left on Ouija, then he he could be fine with losing his stock. F tilt does not seem to kill easily, but I don't know what that was. I don't know what that move was. Uh, duck and dog uh, crouching under the majority of Ouija's attacks, which is very interesting and probably has a huge effect on the matchup and top levels of play for Crusade. But I just I don't like duck and dog. Like you said. And, oh, that's a kill, that's a stock. That was an F smash, a brutal F smash. So, I don't like Duck Hunt Dog in this game. One, because he was a lot better in four. Two, it's because it just looks ugly. And three, he just SD'd at zero. And that's, well... <laughs> If Duck Hunt can take out, take Ouija's next stock and be an even game again. But that's not looking like it's going to happen because Ouija's already having 36% on Duck Hunt Dog. So, yeah. 51 to 135 with two stocks. Uh, that was a neat little combo. Nair to Frisbee, which I believe is a side special. And down, down special from Ouija. Pokeball thing, which is not... I don't like either of these characters, and I really could not care less if either of these characters were eliminated. Speaking of eliminations, this is a single elimination tourney, so let's, if Duck on Dog or Ouija lose the best of three, they are out. They get no second chances. Doesn't matter at all. Doesn't matter if the fans want them, doesn't matter if anybody wants them. So. Ooh. F Smash. 82 to 196. Duck on Dog can still bring this back, but. It's not looking likely. So Duck Hunt Dog and Ouija going for the uh, dash dancing, but it's a very long, large amount of dash dancing, and that looked like it was going to kill, and if it was closer to the edge, it would have. But that is Ouija's second stock taken away. It is currently 104% to 0%. I'm pretty sure Lu Ouija has this in the bag. He does. Okay. Ouija, game one, duck and dog. Yeah. 
And ladies and gentlemen, on to game two. It's Ouija versus Duck Hunt Dog. We are going to Cutman's Arena. Uh, this is an interesting stage pick for Duck Hunt. I don't know. It oh, Cutman is making an appearance. Uh, I guess the both competitors appear to have wanted to GM to Cutman with hazards on. How will this affect the gameplay? I'm pretty sure it's just going to be an annoyance. But back to neutral, or we're starting in neutral again. And that was a nice combo. A side B to down tilt to down tilt. I think those are down tilts. Ouija going for the side B of his own and it not hitting at all. Or maybe that's a neutral B. I, I don't know. It doesn't look like it looks the same as. Yeah. That was an up tilt or an up smash. I, again, still don't know. But I'm going to commentate to the best, even though I have very little knowledge about this game. Anywho, uh, they did an excellent job with Cutman. He looks really clean. On the other hand of that spectrum, though, Duck Hunt Dog. Eh. He does not look that good. In fact, I'd say Duck Hunt Dog is one of the worst sprites in this game. Actually, no, no, no. That's a lie. The spaces are bad. Donkey Kong is... A death sentence to anybody's eyes. Uh... Ooh, I, I got nothing. Oh, the Sonic characters just have borrowed sprites. But there are some sprites in this game that are quite amazing. Uh, Ryu sprite, the Street Fighter character sprites. Uh, the Mario sprites, aside from Luigi and Bowser. And Peach, and Yoshi, and DK, and Wario, and Waluigi. Aside from those characters, though. The Mario Bros. sprites look amazing. But anyhow, back to neutral yet again, and we are sitting at pretty high percents. 128, Duck on Dog to 158, oh, 166, Ouija. And that is an up special, or not an up special. Okay, I'm pretty sure that slide thing that Duck on Dog keeps doing is not a down tilt. It's a down, or it's a dash attack. But I don't know, because it all looks the same to me. And that is an F smash at ledge at 218%, going to take the first stock from Duck from Ouija. How will Ouija retaliate? Using that huge attack, which he should be using more. Uh, and that is an up special, or an up smash of Ouija's own, to take out Duck Hunt Dog's second stock, or first stock. You see, if Duck Hunt Dog didn't go for the side B, and somehow managed to slide under the platform that he was on, he would have kept that stock and probably would have been able to get more damage without risking anything. But that is an ups- or that is a- two F smashes. Do I hear three? No, I do not. A frisbee and- oh, I do hear three! Three up special- or uh, three F smashes. And a hideous snare from Duck Hunt Dog. Didn't really do much and it just looks bad. Uh, in fact, uh, we're- in pretty close quarters currently. Both play both, both combatants are trying to get an edge up on the competition, but neither of them are succeeding. And that is an up special in neutral. I am not really understanding the premise of it, but hey, Ouija's the one in charge, not me. And that, nope. If Duck and Dog, maybe if he had actually used a smash attack there, he could have gotten that stock, but he did not because he's dumb. <clears throat> okay. Looking good, looking tight. Okay. And Duck Hunt Dog's Nair doesn't really seem to be that good. It just seems to be a hitbox with minimal damage. And it's a multi-hit, so that's not really that amazing. And that is an F-Smash, does not take it, though. Uh, it appears Ouija was not close enough to the edge for that to kill. But Ouija is not sitting heavy. He is at 182% to Duck Hunt Dog's 63%. Ouija, 188. Ouija really needs to start playing more carefully if he wants to win this. And that is an F-Smash at the side that takes a second stock from Ouija. Now, all Duck Hunt Dog needs to do is take this last stock and he's game. Uh, but the problem is getting enough damage to do that. His F smash is really the only thing that can kill on him, because his up smash just does a bit of damage, and his down smash also does a bit of damage. But that is all. That is an F smash, 29% to Duck on Dog's 102%. Duck on Dog, up specialing in neutral, not really digging that choice. 
And that is an F. That killed? He was on the other side of the edge. Why? Well, doing some platform shenanigans. Ouija finally getting that down special Pokeball. And an F smash that does not kill this time, but it killed the other time because balance. Uh, an F tilt. Okay. That is an F smash. 60% to 52% even game so far. And Duck and Dog is really trying to bring it home. He wants that game three. He does not want to be eliminated from this tourney. He's giving it his all. And that is an F smash. 79 to 60%, ladies and gentlemen. It's almost to a last, last stock, last hit situation. Who will win this match? Back to neutral. And Ouija trying to get the Pokeball does not hit. Another F smash. Duck and Dog really likes to use those Crusade Air Dodges. And that is an F smash. 113%. Does not kill, though. Uh, Duck and Dog is doing really nice at dodging the majority of his attack. And as I say that, he gets hit. Commentator's curse, ladies and gentlemen. So, what I notice, this Ouija, whenever a character gets close to him, he always goes for the down bait. And whenever a character is far from him, he up specials in neutral because he doesn't want the edge guard. Why would he? Speaking of up specials and neutrals, Duck and Dog. Oh, that that does not kill, ladies and gentlemen. 121% to 131, a 10% deficit between the two of these characters. Uh, an up special, an up smash, but does not hit. That is going to be sad for Ouija, and that could be mean the game for him. Down special, 147 to 134%, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, getting the NES uh, gun thing that I forgot the name of off. You see, what Duck on Dog could have done there is he could have used one of his projectiles and then grabbed ledge, but he didn't because he's not a good player. Okay, an F special. I am just really good at calling out these names. Uh, and does not take it. 150, 160, even game, ladies and gentlemen. And that is going to take it, ladies and gentlemen. Duck on Dog with game one. Or game, yeah, he won the game two. Ladies and gentlemen, that is going to round off the second game. And now, on to the next and on to the final game between Duck and Dog and Ouija. Okay, now this is the final match of the set, and I am quite curious as to who will take it. And depending on who does win, someone else is never going to be seen again. Personally, I would be perfectly fine if both of these characters lost, because I have quite the hatred for both of them, as both of them are affronts to my people, as I've said multiple times. Ouija up smashing, up specialing in neutral, not a good idea if you're Ouija and you want to win this match. But yeah, this is a pretty slow game so far. Only 8%, 15% has been given, uh, 19, 27. Uh, if I just keep saying numbers, that will be excellent commentary, I'm sure. 49% on, on Duck and Dog, where Ouija has yet, oh, okay. I was going to say Ouija has yet to be hit, but... Elgon Dog just had to prove me wrong. Tisk, tisk. 56, 63. Do I hear 79%? I do not. Not yet. Uh. 70. Okay. Uh, this stage is quite nice. Uh, I really do like this rendition of Battlefield for what, the Crusade team. For starters, it has those platforms off to the side of the stage and a waterfall. It's just a really nice touch. Really nice aesthetic. It's just a really nice version of Battlefield, and I really do appreciate it. Good job, as Crusade devs. Uh, so back to neutral, yet again. Uh, almost a stock, almost equal percents, and the F-Smash does not connect from Ouija. Uh, one thing I've noticed about Ouija's F-Smash is that Ouija's body does not have a hitbox on it. So, it needs to actually, Ouija needs to actually hit the attack for it to hit the attack yeah and duck and dog does not die which is a sad day for me uh but he does get an f smash off on ouija and we are at a seven percent deficit uh it's going to be quite interesting to see who takes the first stock equal percents this game ladies and gentlemen and duck and dog doing some platform shenanigans uh he's in quite the oh he was in quite the dangerous position because if ouija just up smashed once he probably would have taken the stock uh, hmm. Ouija does not, it does not look like, oh, okay. He countered it. He, Ouija countered the 
the F smash with the down B. And he takes the stock, ladies and gentlemen. Luigi is sitting at 172%. And he took a stock with an F smash. That's I was not expecting that today. Uh, but Duck Hunt, 180%. Uh, Duck Hunt Dog needs to take out this next stock before he gets too much percent on him. Because the more percent Duck Hunt Dog gets on him, the less of a chance that he is going to win the match, as is the rules of Smash Bros. That is a trade, followed by an F Smash, and whatever that move was, the mirror move. Uh... And that is going to take Luigi's second st or first stock, a F smash at edge. Congratulations, Duck on Dog. Luigi has a gigantic shield, my golly. And another Nair. Good on you for finally using it. That was like five different trades, but it wasn't. So, ha. <clears throat> An F smash, Luigi sitting at 50%, and Duck on Dog sitting at 85 uh, yeah, I hate, I hate that dare. I hate Duck on Dog's dare. Because it looks so much like Yoshi's dare, except just as bad. It's, it's horrendous. I complimented the Crusade devs for Battlefield, but I'm going to berate them heavily for, for that dare. It does not look good at all. But yeah, back to neutral. And that is going to take... Duck and Dog's second stock at 130 something percent. That is quite a low percent for the stocks taken in this set. An up smash, which is a 19 percent. I'm not quite sure if that's uh, a balanced percent, and that is an F smash. Does not take it. If this, if Duck and Dog were Ouija, it would have taken it. Uh. <coughs> Does also does not take it, even though it was near edge, but that does, because Ouija does not know how to use his recovery properly. Ouija has a gigantic recovery. It is, it looks so good, but I'm not quite sure if it is good. Another Nair, and 59%. An F, an F tilt. That takes it, ladies and gentlemen. If I say ladies and gentlemen again, I'm going to... Say ladies and gentlemen again. But that is the final game, and Duck and Dog is out of the tourney, thankfully. That is all from this set, and have a marvelous day.